Hi, my name is Raffles Van Exel. I'm sitting here with Frank Leo. Uh, Frank, on request from myself, has approved uh, two months ago to do an interview with the fans. However, because of my scheduling and Frank's scheduling, and of course the premiere of uh, This Is It, just now we were able to do the interview. Frank has not seen the questions. Um, the questions have been asked by you, the fans. However, MJJ community, the staff and the senior staff board members have picked the questions. So if your question is not in here and is not answered, it has nothing to do with me or with Frank DeLeo. It has all to do with the senior staff who picked the questions. By that one said, Frank, thank you for this interview. It's my pleasure. Um, there is a group, a small organization, as you know of right now, what is called This Is Not It. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, numerous, uh, numerous of them have written letters to Michael the day before or 48 hours before Michael's passing, explaining their concern about his health, that he was getting skinnier and skinnier. What is your take on that? Well, it's great that they wrote letters. I'm not aware of them. Uh, there was a concern by one of the staff members that, that Michael lost a few pounds. I brought it up with Michael. I forced a meeting with the doctor, which we had never met until that point. And they said that Michael was in good shape, that yes, he did lose a couple of pounds because he wanted to. Uh, he was eating healthy, he was eating right, he was taking all the right vitamins. That's what we were told. I went back to that staff member, she reported, he was 136 pounds. He wasn't 108 pounds like people want everybody to believe. He is in, in the 80s, I would say, he was anywhere from, if we weren't working, maybe 150 to 145. And I would say that when I came here uh, in March, he was about 145. 142. But he, as a dancer, uh, particularly in the way he danced now, he wanted to be a little slimmer. You know, uh, he was in good, I, I think he was in better health today than he was then, because then he was a vegetarian and he fasted once a week and he had all these things that he did. So I think that's false. Okay, and uh, what about Karen Faye? She admitted openly on her Facebook uh, that there was something wrong. Well, that you know, there was a lot of people besides Karen Faye that interacted with Michael, and we didn't see anything wrong. You know, Karen Faye certainly uh, has her opinion. Karen Faye felt, feels and felt that she was very close to Michael. I respect that. That's her opinion. Okay. Uh, Marlon Jackson went on the record on CNN, Roland Martin, um, and he said that Michael was not feeling well early in the morning of, the 25th, of June the 25th uh, and late at night of the 24th. If that is true, can you tell us what was wrong with Michael? Uh, did Michael request it to go to the hospital in the early morning hours? No. And I don't think that, that Marlon spoke to him on the morning of the 25th. And I'm not sure he spoke to him the night of the 24th. When we left the Staples Center and we said goodbye, Michael was very happy. I just solidified his Halloween special that he wanted from the time I got here with NBC. We laid out what we wanted to do with the film Ghost and what his participation was. And he was accepted of that. He was extremely happy. He went home. Whatever happened at home in his in the privacy, I can't account for. You know, Michael Jackson was an adult. Well, you know, when we left Staples Center or wherever we were rehearsing, I'd go to my residence and he'd go to his. You know, the man wanted some privacy. He wanted his free time to be his free time. I, I couldn't, you know, and nobody what and, and involved in this group of people was a hall monitor. You know, we 
spent hours with him at the Paris mm -hmm. home. What, once he went home, you know, unless he called you at two in the morning to ask you a question, you know, that was about it. But I'm not sure if Marla spoke to him that night because we didn't leave the Staples Center until about midnight. Okay. So, and I know he didn't speak to him in the morning. Okay. Well. Uh, on an all other thing, some of the fans, some fans, not some of the fans, some fans are speculating that AEG and everyone involved uh, with AEG uh, is conspire, conspiracy to murder of Michael Jackson. 